<clears throat> Alrighty, welcome to day three or night three of Sentinel Zone Zero. Three days in a row now. Normally I take breaks like between like a few days. Oops. Okay. I guess I sort of wasn't playing to stream this game game today, but I guess I was just in the mood. Um, so that the previous stream I completed, completed chapter two. Well, the main story of chapter two, I guess. Now we're, I guess, you could say the intermission. But um, I also want to do like open, so we're gonna be tackling that this time. Is it immersive? Immersive or intermission? I don't remember. I just need to come to the group because I have something to tell you. They're my family, so I think Disney needs your approval. Well, what's your opinion, opinion of Nekamata? Other two? Wait, you got it wrong. I didn't kidnap Nakamana from, from the Gunny Harris to work here because I wanted to sort of make more money. I'm not like that. Um, just let me explain. It was her idea. Nakamana contacted me earlier today and asked if we were hiring. She also mentioned that the cunning hairs are not doing so hot financially. She recommended herself, saying she's eagle-eyed, efficient, hardworking, and kind. I bet she wants to work here to pay off some debt. That's for the cunning hairs. There's actually a mountain of new videotapes that need, need sorting. Nekomata can work through them if, if she comes wants to work for us. Eagle, I, efficient, hardworking, and kind. She sounds like a great fit for sorting through videotapes. I'll get the unsorted videotapes out. I'm here, guys. I'm ready to go. Hello, Nekomata. Seeing as you're ready, let's not waste any time. I'll go over how we sort our videotapes, and you can get to work. Huh? Work? Hang on a minute. Didn't you agree on a commission to take me and a client into a hollow? Oh, so when you said doing business together, you actually meant down in a hollow. Of course I was talking about down in the hollows. You, you don't really think Nicole wants me to pay off our debt by working here, do you? It might look like she has a bank account where a conscience to be. But Nicole has been pretty good to me. Sorry for the misunderstanding. But seeing as we're going down into a hollow, shouldn't the rest of the cunning hairs be here too? I came up with this commission myself. I'm not sure how to put this. Before, I got everybody into a real pickle with vision, but Nicole still asked me to stay. Now that the cunning hairs are in the red, I think it's time for me to see what I can do! Hustling side gigs to make admirable. <laughs> well, ever heard of a fortune cat? And once I get back from this gig with my pay, I'm gonna make the old poker face say, Nekomata, you really are the very motto of a cunning hair. Wow, you take this so seriously. I mean, the cunning hair is just pretty much a work environment, and I'm a professional. So just because I've made up with her doesn't mean I don't care about keeping up standards. Besides, even street games have performance metrics these days. How bad it, Satan? I've got a lucrative commission set up. You want in? Give me the details on this commission first. No problem. Here's the situation. There's this company that lost a bunch of etheric resources down in a hollow. They're recruiting skilled agents and proxies to do some field surveys down there in the hopes of one day retrieving it all. Sounds easy enough. But field surveys aren't usually a terribly lucrative commission. <laughs> Relax. This is just the first step. Think about it. 
the company needed to find help on Internaut just to run some field surveys. When it comes to the official recovery later on, they'll definitely be looking for more. Ah, oh, I see what you mean. Resource recovery definitely pays well. I expect people will be fighting over who gets that commission. But if we've already worked with them before, then we'll be their first choice. We sure will. That's faith in for you, razor sharp brains. You gotta cast out a long line to catch a big fish. So, you interested in the commission now? It's definitely worth considering. I'll take that as a yes. I'll go confirm the place in time with the client, and then we can get straight to it. Twenty eight and normal difficulty. Touch my tail and now. Oh, nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are heating. Good choice. You. Time for some tail care. I have two guns, so double the accuracy. Um, actually. Starlight, it's time to. Come on. Standing by. I guess it doesn't really matter. Need something? My services are expensive. And you know what? Let me. I want to go. Nothing to fear. The cunningers are here. Hey, ready for combat. Standing by. Okay, now I forgot. Starlight, it's time to shine. I kind of want to use. I kind of want to use Billy. I haven't used him in a long time. I'm ready to roll. But I already have. I already have my. Uh... I have two guns, so double the accuracy. I already have my uh, tag of uh, pistol. Starlight, it's time to shine. Attacker. In uh, Nakamata. Is on you. It's... Impacts. Starlight, it's time. Come on, let's move. Mm, ready for come. Nothing to fear. The cut. Hey, don't look down on me. Standing by. Andy, in position. Then you are up. Ready for combat. Mm. I have two guns, so yeah. double the accurate starlight. It's time to shine. Starlight Knights, let's go. I haven't used them, you know, in a long time. I am a limited edition version of Fairy, Fairy Cat, at your service. Please follow the guide to the end of the route we're surveying inside the hollow. Fairy Cat suggests you find the guide first. Meow. Your virtual assistant is getting on my nerves. That guy is our guide, right? Hi, you're Nekomata, right? Allow me to, um, introduce myself. I'm Oli, and I'm in charge of this operation. Operation? 
This is just a field survey. Is it like a trend for companies to use fancy names? <clears throat> I mean, this time at least I'm your client. Yes, client and guide. <laughs> Speaking of which, our proxy isn't here yet? Uh, we're both right here? Miss Nakumata, please don't kid around. It's, it's just you and me here. No others? He doesn't seem to realize this Bengu right under his nose is a proxy. Hey, Ollie. I'm actually your proxy. Ah! Oh, who's there? Bingo! My ears! Sorry I wasn't clear before, Ollie. But please, keep Siren's hearing in mind. So, as you can see, this talking Bengu is our proxy. Oh, is that so? <laughs> My bad. Whew, well, that was embarrassing, letting you see that side of me. But I promise I'm still a reliable guy. Please, lean on me. Just as much as I'm leaning on this stalagmite right now. See, chatting and laughing so freely like this, while being so close to an ether crystal? Whew, that's more than enough to demonstrate my aptitude for it. Did the crystal just move? Oh, don't tell me! Oh, it's one of those inactive sleeping at the... He's totally panicking. Uh, well, let's take care of the ethereal first and talk after. Let's get rid of these ethereals first. Oh, Miss Nekomata, I was blown away by your heroism just then. I'm glad to hear it, but in the future, could you please not wander aimlessly around the battlefield so much? I don't want you to get hurt. When I read the notes for this job, I assumed you'd be a little more... composed. I didn't expect companies would have such different requirements for hollow surveyors. <laughs> uh, d d diversity is... It's highly valued by the company. <sighs> Fine. I'm really not the best at dealing with ethereals. But I, I, I've got a, you know, a few tricks up my sleeve when it comes to recovering etheric resources. Really? Then I guess I'll trust you. Well, since you mentioned etheric resource recovery, there's no sense hiding it. What we really want is to help support your resource recovery business in the future. So, if everything goes smoothly today, could you have a word with your boss and help us get in on the follow-up commission? Oh, um, yeah, of course. No problem, just leave it up to me. <laughs> We're counting on you, Mia. To tell you the truth, I've been planning on switching careers recently. Working for a big, fancy company like yours ought to pay better than hustling on internet for myself, right? Uh... <laughs> sure, sure does. 
Can you tell us how much of a cut you take for recovering etheric resources like this? Uh, oh, yeah, M my cut. It's, well, it's... Uh, how silly of me, Mia. You work for a company, so you must get a fixed salary plus bonuses. But I guess that's confidential. Uh, yes, <laughs> I have to keep that a secret. <laughs> That is very considerate of you, Miss Nekomata. I won't disclose exactly how much it is, then. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Let's not talk about salaries right now, then. Shall we get started with surveying the route? Oh, okay. Uh, just let me look up the exact details here. Psst. Hey, Freezen. We can think of this, all we guy. I was thinking, you get on so great with the cunning hairs, why would you suddenly want to switch careers? But, I get it. You said all that on purpose. <laughs> I feel like he's a little weird. He talked about working with this company, but his story's full of holes. It's obvious he's not familiar with them. What do you think, Broxy? Maybe he does work there, but knows nothing about the business because he's new. And his boss forced him to come here. Huh? Well, for a proxy, you sure are naive. My years of experience on the streets tell me he's definitely no corporate salary man. More like some rookie trying to hustle for change down in a hollow. But I'm confused about why he's still forcing himself to come in here when he's obviously terrified. There must be something going on behind the scenes. Maybe there's a big score waiting to be revealed. In any case, let's finish up this commission with him, then find a way to figure out what's really going on. I've confirmed the surveyed route. Please stick together. Stay on my... Mr. Ollie, about your company. Oh, wait a minute, what's that noise? Would you go check ahead? Master, Ollie refuses to proceed due to an unusual acoustic occurrence. I suggest you go and investigate. We, you see, you have some alternate equipment over there, and it's not rare for the kind of the issues like fires, electrical leaks, leaky toilets, and stuff. Phew. Well, luckily that's not an enemy. We should get out of here. Uh, over there! Talking about work, Mr. Ollie. What do you... <laughs> What's that? Oh, there's something wobbling around! Straight ahead! Can you go check? Master, there is an unknown object moving around in the ruins ahead. Ollie is scared stiff and unable to continue. Please head there and investigate. Can't wait to go shop! There is some writing on the wall ahead. Ollie believes this may be a useful marker. Proceed forward to check it out. I choose you, Nekomar, the amazing.
my sights! Ethereals are way too scary. We should get out of here. Over there! Let me handle that locked door ahead. I forgot to bring the key card. Seems like breaking open the door with that button. Can you... <clears throat> can, can you please... The door's open. We should go this way now. Yeah. It should be safe around here. Oh, why are ethereal here all of a sudden? <laughs> Take care of them. I'm begging you. Yeah, yeah. Stretch. Can I, uh, can I walk behind you too? Just follow me. Here we go, three. Oh, the survey route finishes right up there. Uh, how can there be so many? I'll wait for use. For the use. Hey! <laughs> 
I'm using one headphones. That's a wrap for the oh, commission. Yeah, Thanks works to both of you. Couldn't have gotten it all done today without you. <laughs> As for your payment, once we exit the hollow, <clears throat> I'll have funds transferred to Miss Nekomata's internet account. Oh, and uh, don't worry, I'll be putting in a good word for you two back at the company. Okay, we're counting on you, Mia. Now that our business is done and dusted, <clears throat> shall we head out of the hollow now? No problem. Me and the proxy will find the fastest and safest route out of the hollow. This is how a proxy makes a living, so we can't let you listen in. Sorry about that. I understand. I'll just stand over there and turn my back to you. You can trust me. Darn it. I was so busy and flustered the whole time I never got around to asking this guy about his true purpose and identity. Uh, we don't have time. We have to leave the home soon, and then everyone will go their separate ways. Don't worry, Nekomata. We'll figure something out. Back when you were with the gang, did you ever come across anything like this? Back when I was... in the gang? <sighs> Proxy. Speaking of street gangs, that reminds me. It's time to use my secret ability. Watch this. Let me see what this so-called guide Ollie has on him. Huh? Wait, these are... handcuffs? Huh? Handcuffs? What's a civilian doing with these? Hold up, Belle. Fairy just detected a string of numbers on the handcuffs that match the same format used by public security. What? These handcuffs belong to a public security officer? Um, Miss Nekomata! Proxy! How's your, how's your chat going? I, uh... I think I can hear some ethereals nearby. <laughs> what are my handcuffs doing over... Uh, I mean... They're not my... My not handcuff. Oh. Tell us the truth, Ollie. Why do you have public security handcuffs on you? It's that... I found those handcuffs. Oh, so you just found them somewhere. Well then, that's completely fine, yeah? <laughs> well now, Ollie. I took you for a rookie thief judging by the way you cowered like a chicken in the hollow. I never thought you'd steal something from a public security officer. I thought I could get a nice score from your commission. It seems we ought to be grateful you haven't landed us in even more trouble. And these handcuffs that you just found? What kind of incompetent officer would lose their own equipment? Any cop who lets you take their cuffs off them must be a real weakling. Please, please don't insult public security officers. A public security officer has to grit his teeth and endure arduous training. They have to stay up all night studying for exams, has to struggle to pass the strictest of screening. Only then can he become an officer. Why are you getting all virtuous all of a sudden? Hold up, don't interrupt me. We want the truth, and get on with it. Who are you really, and why did you post a fake commission through a fake company? It's... Uh, I... I can't tell you. Can't tell us? Are you still not grasping the situation? Hmm, let me see. Since you're not cooperating, 
I guess I'll just have to throw you to the ethereals in here. Oh boy, we killed so many of their friends today. I bet they're gonna be real happy to see you. Right? <laughs> How about now? Ready to talk? I... <laughs> I won't tell. Even if you feed me to the ethereals, I won't. What is up with this guy? He's scared out of his wits, but he still won't talk. Hold on, Nekomata. I've just matched the serial number from these handcuffs to an officer. Ollie, male. Team 4, Criminal Investigations Division at Janus 12th Precinct. That's who this guy is. Huh? No way. I knew it. This guy is actually a public security officer? Poor Nicole, she didn't get to do much. Holy oh, crap, Nekomara. Alright, we've made it out. Well, Ollie, I mean, officer, you said you wouldn't hold us liable before, so let's say our goodbyes right here then. Please. Uh, please, wait, Miss Nekomata, before you leave, can you reassure me that you're both good people and that you will not tell anyone anything about meeting me today? My mission today was top secret. I need to make sure no one harboring ulterior motives learns this information. Okay, okay, don't worry. If we had any ulterior motives, we would have snuck off and left you with the Ethereals way back when we first realized you weren't who you claimed to be. Oh, I see. Of course. That makes sense. Uh, wait, you knew I wasn't with the company all along? Can I be honest? Ollie, your acting is really, really bad. Honestly, how could your boss or your coworkers let you go alone on a mission like this? Because this operation was at my personal request. <sighs> I've been a public security officer for years now, but I still can't get over my phobia of ethereals. I've screwed up a few operations, and these days, I always get benched. There's been this really tough case, and we're short of leads. I thought maybe we could use Internaut to lure in our culprit with some crime-related info. If the plan worked, I'd be able to take credit for it, even if I wasn't involved with the operation later on. If I was lucky, I might even have gotten a certificate. I didn't expect someone like you would be so motivated. Uh, that's my boss on the phone. One second. Uh, hello? Uh, boss, it's Ollie. Where are you? Did you post to internet pretending to be a company going into a hollow? I, uh, I, that, it, it wasn't on purpose. P please, please, please don't fire me. Fire you? Why would I fire you? You did great! If we can crack this case, you'll take first merit for it and land a handsome bonus. Get back to the precinct and get yourself ready for the next operation. My boss praised me. All these years, my boss has finally praised me! Did you hear that? Not only do I get to keep going out with them on operations, but I might even get a bonus! Oh, congratulations. <laughs> what... what am I gonna do? You were just so happy. Why the long face? Going on future operations with them means I definitely have to go back into a hollow again. And they'll mess things up as soon as we run into any ethereals. You'll just have to work it out for yourself. Proxy, let's go! Wait, wait a sec! Miss Nekomata, Proxy, this may be a bit forward, but... Would you please consider becoming case consultants for public security and helping me to complete the mission? Huh? You know the truth about my internet commission. Making you case consultants feels much safer than just relying on a verbal promise. Uh, and what's more, based on our previous adventure, when it comes to hollows, I can tell your abilities are far superior to mine. With your support, 
All those things I couldn't do before, they don't have to be pipe dreams any longer. This time, I really just might get a bonus. Uh, then if we say no, what are you gonna do? If you really won't say yes, then... Then I can only bid farewell to my Medal of Honor with tears in my eyes. And ask you once again to keep this confidential. Yeah? That... that's it? you were gonna hold us responsible if we didn't cooperate i'd never go back on my word i swear it on my honor as an officer uh i gotta say he really is just <sighs> fine ollie i reluctantly agree to this commission of yours or your request for us to be case consultants or whatever <sighs> really but on one condition we charge a high fee if we help you complete the mission, your entire bonus is ours. That's fine with me. I'd rather have the prestige over any bonus. <laughs> Great. Then let's do it. All right then, Proxy. Today's matter is settled. Let's head back. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? It feels weird. I never thought you'd agree to team up with a public security officer, Negomata. So what? I agreed to his request. What's so unbelievable about that? Don't worry, I won't lose us any money. I've heard that they pay out pretty decent bonuses. And if he's still willing to give up the whole thing, then why not? Him and Dolly might seem unreliable, but there were several times today when he surprised me. Perhaps there's more to this guy than meets the eye? Anyway... Let's just wait for him to contact us if we're gonna be supporting him. We can talk about his case then. Oh, I saw something. I can tell there's something more important to Ollie than meets the eye, but I never expected. Of a security officer. What's even more astounding is that Nakamana actually agreed to help Ali. Right, right. We do have faces on the internet, after all. And we we had a pretty big misunderstanding with Ali in the hollow. But we agreed to work with Ali, Ali now. So we should act professionally and do our best to complete the commission. Let's go. Actually, I'm just going to take on this uh, second part, but you know what, let's pick this one out for now. my tail and now standing by mm. time for some tail care ready for combat nothing to fear the cunning hairs are here. standing by is it work let's hurry i want to be back by dinner excuse me lost me
Mission start. Objective. Clear Old Capital Metro Edge. The Cunning Hare. Now open for business. Why can't we just pay with Denny's? Why can't we just pay with Denny? I don't know what's going on.
Oh, I really need to get motivated. I oh, know that's why. You're the boss. So fuse them together. Yeah, that's all I can do. I hope there's more.
Continue the operation and complete Old Capital Metro, Edge. Throw it away? That's right! So Kaku's here! So Kaku reporting in! That's too expensive. Can I have it for free? You're the boss. Let's continue. Hopefully goes. Tell me this is
I don't have a face too. Please don't have a face too. Get back. The pleasure's all yours. Three, two, one, go! Ha! Don't look at me! You have a face too. Please swear. Okay, good, good. There's no face here. Ah, oh, even face one is a, it's just a, a bullet sponge. Or just a beats, or just a beat stick. Oh, trophy. And then this one too. Okay, those conditions. Yeah. Enter a higher difficulty two times. Entertain a total of 20 Rosonia. Entertain a total of 4 Rosonia.
step. Oh, that's definitely gotta be up on the face too. And I'd rather not do that. I'll stop to you. Excellent. It's only it's been only one hour, twenty seven minutes, thirty five seconds since I sent the message. Hm. It's independent this year. I can sense your ambition. Function up. Technology is a, is a virtue for humans. Well, for the defense force, it's a duty. We often have missions that are in a race against time, and today's task is no different. In short, you've, you've recently discovered that uh, there are several anomalies of Aether activity near the, in the exploration round of Hollow Zero, which frequently spawn Aetherians. These anomalies on Chet could certainly hinder the pro progress of future Defense Force operations. That's right. This task involves routine cleanup of, of these unmarvel zones, and your team isn't the only one to participate. But for the special supply support I, I mentioned, earlier, mentioned earlier, it includes materials for making new engine thread disks, yeah, specifically the fiber disk master copies and planning agents. Indeed. It seems this independent investigator is well aware that while the engine drive disks significantly enhance the performance of a W engine, the materials for making such disks are scarce. Especially recently, due to increased demand caused by the Hollow Zero mission, these materials are virtually priceless in the civilian market. In a nutshell, the Defense Force is pulling out all, all the stops for running top notch support to boost the combat abilities of every. Uh, in fact, involved in more smooth routine cleanup operations. Excellent. Let me explain the details of the mission to you. See, the list of the Defense Force routine cleanup missions is here. Use of right com combat attributes to deal more damage to the enemy. Don't forget to check this, the special effects for, for any unforeseen situations. This is a supplies provided when the is here. A good soldier never underestimates the enemy. Please be prepared before versus submitting the operation. Before we say goodbye, there's someone else I need to need his help. After our call, action in our last chain of defense, the HNDs use Corvus Buck Operation, or the Hand, the Hand, and all those special operations have decided to officially increase action for personnel at Scott Outpost, not just as as external support. Starting so tomorrow, there's Ophelia from HSR will be officially participate in the security mission at Outpost. She hopes I can persuade the lock on Federation to assist. If you have, have confidence in your abilities, you can come here on the same time tomorrow and talk to her. You not only get this keeping the defense force, but also a hand is also going to have her just now stay permanently as an outpost. Anyway, I'm going back tomorrow to find out more. As for the schedule, let's pass it over to the Bardic Needle across from our store. Speaking of trusted two humans, I'll be from 
quite a few of us. Just been a long time coming. Maybe she's been worried about it, so since she's very busy with magic copies. Okay, I did get the right information. Alright. Um, no, I can't. You're a good boy. You're a very good boy. And who are you? She's so freaking hot! What? Old producer and manager. One of the neighbors that you your business has a snag recently. Is that true? So, what brings you here today? If you're here for your W Engine's drive discs, I'm afraid we're having supply issues. Agents are, are pretty high quality. Where do you even get materials like this? You're still as for as far as ever. I'm impressed. If you can provide the master copy needed for tuning, but maybe even Bardic Needle can reopen. So, fancy being my first customer of the day? I can't, I can't wait, wait to hear the music too with the materials you brought. We went inside the store then. The music store allows you to consume it. The restaurant can do tuning and obtain this drive. This drive can be disassembled to obtain the copies and partially because I'm leveling materials. Slowing the music store will unlock higher tier tuning and functions. What flavor of music would you like to try today? Hi, hi madam. Hello, ma'am. How many do you just tuning? 
Raymond has a fantastic, I think it's a fantastic choice. See, it's back, relax, enjoy your tuning. I not fully understand how, how this works, but I'll figure it out in time. Maybe in due time. No, but seriously, can you blame me? That is the hottest looking robot I have ever seen. <laughs> Fire bill. Why are we doing a lot of ice too? Perhaps I should say, better than expected. Manager, can you still get more materials of this quality in the future? If you provide master copies of this quality, I can keep making you double engine, engine drive discs. Hmm. I wonder if the Defense Force will realize the legendary proxy think it is working with them. a calming melody or something with more ups and downs, manager. There's no need to answer. I shall keep my senses attuned and figure, figure it out. By the way, though there were no issues during my inspection, I still advise that you could try the drive disc on your own W engine to make sure it works fine. If you need more drive discs, I just visit Bardic Needle with a master copy or with any drive disc you want to disassemble. I'll be at your service. Thank you. That is the hottest freaking robot I have ever seen. Oh my gosh. First the rabbit and now the robot? What is this? Right now, hmm? is, there a, is, there, is that a new W engine drive disc? Isn't, isn't the music haven't been closed lately? The LP told me that master copies have been difficult to, to source recently. Did you manage to find a supplier? So it's defense. So it's so it's the defense force. If the materials are from them, it might actually be more be a more, more stable source. Always. Throwing this tuning business should be back on track. You, you're meeting with hand tomorrow morning, right? Do you have anything else today, though? But no, I could recommend some commissions. Video would say. Yeah. 
Oh, I might not have old, but I'm much two movies off. I love those, those old films the most. I don't really care if I've seen it before. It's, it's, it's nostalgic and retro. I love it. In retro. Okay, there's so many retro. And I'm also going to be some curious. So, the possibility of a coming holiday disaster and tell us to work for this. Oh, 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 after his warnings fall on deaf ears. I see all the other crew is too weak to stop the disaster. In retro. So, this one, yep, this retro. That's some retro? Yo! I was watching you. I've been several laughs in the story and thought I'd watch everything. What a pleasant surprise! You are indeed a fantastic manager, Mal. There must be many customers, just like me, who get, who get so caught up on the wild variety of videotapes in the store that they overlook the movies they really want to watch. I guess one promoter alone isn't enough. That's very really important. I mean, any promoter is ready to shine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to all the promotion techniques and the pitches from 18. Plus, I know the movie is just as far as 18, so I'm totally up for the text. I want to spread the word about this story. Any more movies, enthusiasts, and share our common interest. Please, manager. Don't worry. I don't need, I don't need to be paid. All the extra revenue for my promotion will go to your store. Being a video store promoter has been my dream since I was a kid. So please, manager. <laughs> you figured it out, Belle. Actually, I've already watched a bunch of movies you recommended to me multiple times. But there are customers who, who struggle to find, find the right movie. I've come across such cases as quite a few, few times. And there we go. That's... That's... Daddy seems to have his own idea of what to do. Oh my gosh. I've been out of work and staying home for a while now, and I've researched ways to fully embrace a laid back lifestyle. As a result, well, I've been trying to find trying to a practical AI assistance system. In fact, look, let's, let's see if I've been quite successful. At least when it comes to AI receipts. Okay. There's two issues. The AI is kind of naggy. When I get lazy or don't follow my daily routine, it starts from nagging me like it's my own father. Oh, but... I mean, I didn't, but you named it Daddy. AI also possesses an unusually powerful self driven awareness. It's scary like my father is. I'm just saying, you need to call, call me a daddy. Okay. Also, trying to do a hollow exploration and rate its abilities. I'm poor in Gosh, well, looks like the AI takeover is approaching. No use in trying anymore. <laughs> Even the devs are self aware. Daddy did nothing wrong. Daddy just wants to push you to improve. My gosh, it's such a Twitter thing. Anything or 
thing, or like a social media thing at least. Well, if you, you've been watching too much sci-fi or something, no AI is that intelligent, not yet at least. Oh, uh -huh. showing off such a powerful AI here? Not afraid, afraid someone's gonna come after you? Okay, that was pretty good. Original was so nervous at Swolso's repair. Quality part time gig, easy to get started, high daily pace, no need one worker. Oh, just fast. Not a good deed. Let me explore. A time loop. I happen to be a lady, which seems to be part of the other loop too. <laughs> Keep one eye open when sleeping all, all, all day. I'll run into a self driving car. You plow a path for us through the hollow and train into Mimiker from Path of Kenny. This one is on Twitter, this rating level, which I had too much of my alcoholic father. So it's best to work out a clear rating system to make sure it's happy. Anything else? Oh, there's one more thing. Very shiny attack. And a little stubborn than others. And maybe just a little bit annoying sometimes. Basically, I mean, please be patient with me. Rhyme, someone to see if I can do something mm. like this. It works standing by. Touch my tail. And now. Oh, now well, I can do like a fire bell, but it looks like I'm just. That would make her even more powerful. This was also important. Why did I?
good day, proxy. Standing by. Need something? Mm. He's ready for mm. time for some tail care. Come on, let's get so Kaku ready. Okay. Hopefully, this goes well. These locations will be divided into two. You and Daddy will be on a different side. Daddy will, will copy your path and it pays the line on the side. Also, I'll be waiting the total gear coins to do it and, and collect. As, a, as an assistant in human exploration, I recommend following your you know, collections from both sides, which appears to be a more logical approach. Fishing supplies within a certain area is, is, is an important part of exploration. Thus, I'm calculating the number of gear coins per region and according it as per the assessment criteria.
these pink colors. Oh jeez. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I expect you to hear like Kira's voice or something, but I guess not. Feel a little bit stronger. So this is my, this is my experience. He's learning a six swim rate. The fighting game move is with one player accuracy. Get a full assessment is needed. It is proper and very good criteria. You can see these songs. This goes for. She's like shopping. Oh, yeah. I should tackle with them. I heard there's a lot of skimmers around these days. Also, please, Master, don't give me that look. I haven't disabled this place. I'm really adjusting this server volume to the to first setting. 
Put all the things where it sits for. This means one box is so. slow. Yes, yes. You can do this. It's completion like dirty perfectly, collecting all of the gear coins and exceeding our expectations. This is one of the claim years of lives. Something like this, maybe not. I mean, really, uh, sim uh, simulated for forbidden fruit test on it. Okay, here I conclude that it has already achieved basic self awareness, and this AI model is an experimental product ahead of its time. It luckily comes from, from the, the Mars, Mars Celebrity, which right, is, has not been tr truthful. We should get the client to tell the truth and avoid taking on any unknown risks. Okay, that was an interesting puzzle. I guess while we're here, I guess we can actually just put this one out of the way. Oh, it's difficult to use all 22 requirements. Oh, it shouldn't be that bad. I'm making sure it's on the space and in the surrounding area. Please proceed with confidence. Objective, complete the testing and maintenance for the low control bomb in the hollow. Test subject, golden bang boot. Find some you never know. So no. like I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, let's see. Let's What? Two? 
Hey, Val. How did your day go? Pretty good. I know there's something you can't handle. By the way, you mentioned feeling discomfort with your eyes before. Has it happened again as late? That's good to hear. Nicole looks like she's quite busy with the case against Vision Corporation. It has an answer for Val. I haven't had a chance to talk to her about Ray's situation. It's been a while since she was relevant in the story. What's going on? I understand. The day of the trial is drunk, very close. The series is going to help other residents, but let's give them some more time. I'll call again in a couple of days. I wonder what's, I wonder what's in the memory unit. When the time comes, things will probably get hectic again. It isn't a bad idea to, to, to enjoy our free time while, while we still have it. It's getting late. Let me tidy up a couple bit before going to sleep. I see you now. Same type of Sleeping on the couch with the brother sleeping on the sofa. This one. Who really wants to do that Mecha Mara thing? You know what? We'll do that and then we'll call it a Proxy is here. We we're discussing tactics. As you can see, the situation has become clear. I never expected this to be the culprit. Spreading rumors, laying down bait, and luring in the enemy. What a cunning. Oh, wait, that was, oh, wait, that was wise. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know if it was like a monarch uh, talking. That's experience you get picked up from years on the streets. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I have resorted to this, if the situation was in this time. I know we could count on you, Nakamata. Foxy, are you ready? I want to strike first to avoid any more sleepless nights. I'm with you. One, two, three. Two days in a row now, the barbecue beef has gone missing from my bowl of noodles while I wasn't paying attention. I bombed in that mile earlier, but she helped me get the bond of this. Turns out the culprit is cat. I'm playing a, playing a sneak attack on this pillar to make to make a for the of the barbecue beef I've lost uh, over the last two days. Oh, I almost forgot. You know, I came here to talk to you about falling off the commissions today. Is it? You're twitching? Oh my gosh, it is. That's so cute. I want the details of in your story. I'm going to die from an exhaust, 
Oh, I if I keep standing. Can you hear me out? I, I want to pet this cat. Let me pet her. These gangsters have been looting lost ether resources all over the hollows for quite some time. Their methods are cruel, and they've amassed a substantial fortune. No precinct in any jurisdiction has been able to pin them down because they roam around. So the case remains unsolved. So here's what I'm thinking. First of all, we put out the word on Internaut that there's a large commission to recover ether resources. The commission which you and the proxy got involved with last time. Then, we use ether resources from our evidence room as bait and set a trap by placing them in the hollow. Finally, we wait for the gangsters to take the bait and then apprehend them all inside the hollow. Sounds pretty solid. Then what? Okay, well, well, then, then we officially adopt this as our battle plan. Oh, well then, then, it seems like you have a real talent for organizing plans. It's just... 11th Precinct also wants in, and I've been promoted to head up the joint operation. Why did you say just? You're starting to make me nervous. You see... Only the 11th Precinct has access to the ether resources and evidence. I'm about to go undercover into the hollow to set up the trap with two strangers from the General Affairs Department who I've never even met before. And my weakness will be exposed the second we run into any ethereals, and they won't exactly help me hide it, and then once my boss hears about it, I'm betting once again I'll... So what? It's not like I can go meet them in your place. Cry and beg all you want, but I'm not gonna do anything that risky. Uh, 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 of course. <laughs> I'd never dream of getting you to do such a thing, Miss Nekomata. As a case consultant, I just need you to take care of any ethereals along the way, so we can safely lay our bait. Case consultant? Sounds more like a bodyguard. Oh, not at all. Think of it as being temporary, unofficial personnel for public security. <laughs> I've already filled in everyone back at the precinct about the case consultant who will be helping out with the operation. <sighs> Really stressful working on an operation alongside this many officers. Kind of regret agreeing to help you. Oh, please don't say that. This operation really needs you, Miss Nekomata. What if we use remote comms to keep in touch, and you can help me from a little further away? Then you won't have to talk to the other officers. Hmm. If that's an option, then I'll consider doing it. By the way, this case consultant thing... Is there anything else I need to know about? As you're effectively temporary unofficial personnel for public security, you'll need to comply with basically the same rules that current officers do. You'll be fine. You just need to memorize this simple 476-page new officer training manual. Uh... Is something wrong? I know what to do, so just leave everything to me. That's what happened when I met Ollie just now. From what I know about you, Nekomata, you're not gonna read a single page of that manual, right? Of course not. Who'd want to learn how to be a public security officer by reading all that? All I have to do is work with the officers from public security. It's no big deal. I'll just brush up on a few things beforehand. There's still some time before Ollie's mission, so I'll go study nearby and give you a buzz when it's time to go. She's gone. She said she was going to study nearby. I don't exactly know how, though. Bell, why don't you go check on her? After all, you'll be going into the hollow together, so it's best we know what's going on. Search the kitty. Search and pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. Let me pet you. Oh, it's you, Proxy. You scared me. Sneaking up on me like that. Hey, I told you guys I have to study up before working with a public security officer. Look. Those officers over there look like they're discussing work. It's a good chance to study how they talk to each other. You can watch them with me if you want. Just keep, keep, an, 
down low. I'll stare at them like that. From team. I'm from team. I'm from team two. I'm from the investigation department. I'm the 11th. The sink. The sink. I heard you folks have a made out of Operation Midnight Kiss. Good morning, madam. I'm, I'm, Dur I'm Dermot. I'm the traffic control department of the 12th uh, precinct. Here's a list of people involved in the incidents. The driver who is not now in a coma is suspected to have been tired by Operation Midnight. Thanks. No need Thanks. No need to be so formal. All I'm in charge of this case is the support and team for all the departments and units that have a such time of progress in our investigation possible. I'm we're so down to earth. It's the least things we can do. The 11th and 12th precincts the 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 have always worked together. Worked well together. Thanks to all of you. I'll take this in info back to head for us to review. Please keep it on. on, on so this, so this is how the look the carry office talk while working. Well, there's something much fun to see here. Oh, I'll check out some other places. Yeah. Not much talk, not much talking a lot. It bothers my throat. Okay, so what is Okay, I don't know why it's kind of soon. Oh, wait. I've seen these things. Yeah, we will detail with a full investigation and turn for another saint. It's toes are plenary, what if we hide in an hour? It's so close to most lots of cases, and we are now on the stream, we start at the same time. Oops, thank you for hitting You guys saw the big case last month, so we're the enter this district arrest the case. And Okay, there. I'm a troll. I'm a troll. I'm a troll. <laughs> Especially if you use a third, yeah. Once. I need. Oh, we didn't level it. I don't know why, but. Equipment. Oh, you are a stun. So, I didn't realize there was some. Um... 
You want to test my hammer? Touch me. I have... So How can I help? Time for some hard labor? Yes. How can I help? Okay, time to get a little ferocious. Okay. Here we go. Once I meet with the officers from the 11th precinct, you just need to follow us in parallel from a distance. If anything happens, I'll uh, request your immediate support through comms. Just when the time comes, be quick about it instead of exercising your lung capacity. I... Uh, I'll try my best to hold it in. <clears throat> After all, the other officers of the 11th precinct will be with me. I hear footsteps. Sounds like the other officers have arrived on your end. Good. Let's stay in touch. Hey, but I haven't seen anyone else here yet. Master, two young humans have been detected near you. Huh? Hey, Holly. There are two people approaching me over here. What's going on? Uh, that's impossible. I know I sent the correct meetup coordinates to the 11th precinct. Uh, I'll pull up the chat history. Oh no! I did send the wrong one! I sent your coordinates instead! What are we gonna do? I was just about to ask you that! Um, g g get out of there before they see you! They won't be able to keep up with you! I haven't done anything wrong, why should I have to run? Besides, what happens to the operation if I leave? The operation, the operation... I'll just go back and confess to my boss about my ethereal phobia. It's fine. At the very worst, they'll just take command of the operation from me. In any case, I'll take full responsibility. I would never create difficulties for you.
I never thought Ali had the guts to do something like that. Now's not the time for this, Bell. I need to plan out a route, so hurry up and decide. Don't worry, Proxy. I'll handle this. Looks like I'll have to show off my skills for my old profession. Consider this a free lesson, Ali. Watch and learn. The rendezvous point should be close by. Hmm. Is that a girl over there? Did we get something wrong? Hey, are you two from the next precinct over? You're in the right place. Codename Operation Watch and Wait. I'm Ollie from Team 4 of Criminal Investigations at the 12th Precinct, and I'm in charge of today's operation. <gasps> yes, ma'am. I'm Delaney from General Affairs at the 11th Precinct, and this is Huggins. We humbly apologize if we caused any offense just now. We'll cooperate in full and carry out all orders to finish the mission. You don't have to be so formal. We've never met, and it's an undercover sting. So it's completely normal to be guarded about anyone nearby the meeting point. And without 11 Precinct support, we could never carry out this operation. So I should be thanking you. I didn't think you'd be so young, Officer Ollie. Or so easygoing. When I heard the name Ollie, I imagined an old guy in a stained tan suit with heavy bags under his eyes. <laughs> oh, they're talking about me. <laughs> this guy has a very specific imagination. I'm sorry, ma'am. Huggins is just like that. And what were you just saying about being specific? Oh, what I mean is, everyone's here now, so let's hurry up and be specific in our mission. Roger. We've already marked out several alternative coordinates, so please come with us. Oh, we fooled them. We actually fooled them! <laughs> Don't relax just yet, Ollie. That was just the beginning. They're gonna have more questions along the way. The real test is only just getting started. Anyway, find somewhere safe nearby to hide and keep an eye on things. If I need info from you, be ready to tell me quickly. Understand? Right. Understood. Officer. We've already marked three deployment points. This is the first location. This is the second. And this is the final one. Very well. We'll go investigate as per usual. Hollows are unpredictable. Stay close to me. Watch your step. Avoid the ethereals! We've reached the deployment point. Setting up the bait now. Wait. I hear something strange. How come there are so many ethereals here? of 
ethereal to jump out of nowhere like that. But they're dealt with. You sure took them all out quickly, Ollie. I barely had a chance to react. Yeah. No wonder your average combat scores at the 12th precinct were higher than ours last month. Turns out it's all because of you. Oh, come on, you're all exaggerating. Oh, we're only up on you by 0.2 points. Man, combat scores are really only for internal use anyway. They're worth nada in the real world. Your precinct's high rate of closing cases? Now that's a real achievement. Yeah? Didn't I hear you all cracked a whopper of a case a little while back, though? You're probably thinking of those inner district raids carried out by the 14th precinct, right? Well, we can't take any credit for that. Ah, uh, I see. That's a real shame. Right? If we don't catch these gangsters and their ether loot, then I don't know what I'm gonna write in my annual report this year. Wow, even an elite officer like yourself has to worry about writing reports. I feel like you're one of us now. It's much harder being a desk jockey than catching criminals in the hollows. But the world limit for reports this year has been reduced. Thanks to all the spam your precinct put out last time. <sighs> that was actually Huggins over here. In his report, he wrote out 20 times. Being a public security officer is the greatest job in the whole world. Becoming a better officer is my core meaning in life. Delini, you swore you'd never tell anyone about that. Anyway, it's better than what you wrote. If you can't afford to raise my salary, I hope you raise my pension by 20%. But that's what I really thought. <laughs> you two are sure interesting. Huh. I never expected Miss Nekomata to know so much about our inner precinct gossip. It's like I didn't even need to come along at all. Isn't that a good thing? Why you get no self-pitying? Huh? Officer Ollie, what's that about pity? <clears throat> I meant, there's nowhere good to place those ether resources here. And that's a real pity. Ah, you're right. Let's push on and check out our next option then. We probably shouldn't deploy here. It's too dangerous. Next, let's go over there. See ya. The space here seems pretty unstable. We've reached the deployment point. Setting up the bait now. Master, a hollow shift has just occurred. You are now in an area affected by spatial distortion. Great. A hollow shift wasn't part of our plan. Don't panic. That's normal. I've dealt with it. Master, we found an old projector. I can play its memory data for you. Down, right, up. I suggest picking it up and taking a look. The note reads, Red is a liar. Oh. Okay. So it's right here. It's the exit!
for president. <laughs> I can do that. I was gonna use Necromanos. One of the first two locations would surely be suitable. Lucky we didn't spend too much time on them. Oh, it's so nice to have such an elite on the team. Officer Ollie, you've achieved incredible success at such a young age. Could you tell us which school you graduated from? Which school? <clears throat> oh, right. This is me. Argyle's campus. Yeah, it was Argyle's campus. Hey, isn't that the school where tuition is free? Huggins, watch your mouth! Sorry, Officer Ollie. Huggins didn't mean anything bad about your old school. It's just, you're so skilled, we thought you must be from an elite academy. So, which year did you graduate? Oh, that's me again! Class of 45! Class of 45! Huh? 45? Wasn't that years ago? The graduates from that class must be nearly 40 now, right? Yeah, but ma'am, you don't even look 30, let alone 40. Uh... Look to me to see me. Uh... Uh... This might be difficult, Belle, but now's not the time to go blank. Hurry up and think of something. Hang on. Officer Ollie, could it be that your real identity is in fact... M my real identity? A child prodigy who skipped grades to get into the academy super early for her age? Huh? Uh, uh, you got me. I can't hide anything from you. I was actually an orphan who was taken in. My foster mom was always so kind to me, but she made some bad investments, so our finances were never good. Ah, I see. So you're the oldest in a family with lots of foster siblings. You lived in a tiny house at the mercy of the elements, your whole family squeezed into but a single bed. As the oldest kid, you secretly eat moldy crusts while carving off the good bits of bread to share with a smile for your younger siblings. Wow, sounds like an old soap opera. That's why! To keep costs down at home, you chose to enroll at the Argyles campus, which has lower age limits and free tuition! Actually, you pretty much nailed it. But lots of company-affiliated schools have free enrollment, too. Why'd you decide to become a public security officer? Hmm, well, before I went into foster care, I wasn't a good kid. This one time, I overestimated my abilities against a really bad person, and nearly ended up losing my life for nothing. But even with all that, someone still stood up for me, protected me, and accepted me. It might have been unintentional, but for me it was like coming home to a dream home. So if I could, I also wanted to protect something with my own hands, to pay it forward. I understand. You chose to become a public security officer to protect others. No wonder you're in charge of this operation at such a young age. Your morals are beyond reproach. 
I only became an officer to show up to the ladies. I'm just a piece of dirt compared to you. <sighs> After hearing about your past, I realize I really don't have any dreams of my own. I only took this job for its pension perks. Uh, don't be like that. I think it's good to have dreams based in reality. Besides, our reasoning for joining the Force might be different. But aren't we all fighting to protect this city, day in, day out? Wow, Officer Ollie, you're so kind. As a fellow public security officer, I'm filled with pride. I'll have to redouble my efforts to be deserving of such words. Sorry, ma'am. Huggins gets emotional easily. Don't mind him. Let's push on and check out the next location. This area is prone to spatial displacement. Not a good spot. Let's head to another deployment point. Master, I haven't detected any anomalies here. This location is suitable to place bait. Reporting in, Officer Ollie. Our ether resource trap has been set. Great work. <sighs> so it's done. I didn't think talking with those two would be so tiring. Really? You obviously had no issues with it, Miss Nekomata. And what's more, the thing you said just now about using your hands to protect something, it was just like the real thing. If I didn't know you were just pretending to be me, I might have been moved to tears just like Huggins. <laughs> Wanna know why your acting skills were so bad before Ali? Why? It's because the key to a good disguise is to never completely make everything a lie. You need real experience, or else they'll see through you. Your words will lack conviction. You have to understand the character you're playing. Adding a hint of real life experience works best. Balancing truth and fiction. So that's it. No wonder your story was so touching. It's because it's a true story. Hey, don't just assume other people's experiences. I said add a hint. Anyway, if you hadn't messed up giving up the info, I wouldn't have had to go through all the trouble. I'm so sorry, truly. Hang on, I think I hear something nearby. <laughs> huh? Holly, do you got me? What's going on? Warning. Large numbers of ethereals are converging near the client's location. Hypothesis. This area experiences spatial anomalies that teleport in ethereals from other locations. What? Now of all times? I'll come up with something. As long as he can off them all for a few minutes. What do you mean by come up with something? Officer Ollie, you've seemed a little absent-minded right from the get-go. That's... Ahem. You're right. I've actually had something on my mind. The key to this whole watch you made operation revolves around whether or not these gangsters actually take the ether bait we've laid out for them. That's why I think before we withdraw, we should check nearby for signs of anyone suspicious. To guarantee that nobody notices anything about today's operation. Gangsters can be tricky after all. Ah, I see. Drawing on such rich experience? No wonder you're leading the operation. It's just... You've helped me out so much today running around these hollows. And now, I'm asking you to go the extra mile. It feels... bad. No, really, it's nothing. Guaranteeing safe operations is what public security officers do. It sure is. I have the greatest respect for you, Officer Ollie. So just give us the order. All right, here's what we'll do. We're gonna split into two groups and search for signs of anything suspicious nearby. If we find anything, radio the other team. Yes, ma'am.
so we'll go that way. I'm with you. Proxy, we have to go rescue Ollie. These are definitely Ollie's footprints. Teleporting here. This doesn't look great. I hope he can hang in there. Do you really think some wimpy ethereals can stop me? operation has failed all because of me it hasn't failed i managed to think up a way to send those two off <sighs> i'm completely exhausted you know you better take responsibility for turning a simple operation into such a mess if you can't press the case and get our commission fee i'll never let you off the hook you got that <laughs> a little bummed out am i imagining things you're not wrong proxy it's because i can't stop wondering has teaming up with you all or rather my idea of receiving a commendation been unrealistic from the start watching how you handled things over the course of the operation today left me thinking you can easily deal with anything that gets thrown at you but i have only caused you trouble I got the meeting place wrong, I can't even protect myself from ethereals, and I can't even provide you with the right intel when you need it. Hey, Ollie! That's enough grumbling for now, okay? Nobody can easily handle every single thing that gets thrown at them. Didn't I tell you before? I almost ended up losing my life for nothing thanks to one bad guy. I wasn't lying about that. But there's actually lots of things I can't do. There are traces of ethereals all around you, Ollie. You must have wiped them out in a panic, right? Uh, really? Uh, I didn't even notice. Ollie, you were the one who came up with using Internaut against these gangsters. You were the one leading this operation, and you were the one who took down these ethereals just now. Who kept yourself alive until we got here. Don't you get it? You're nowhere near as bad as you think. Stop being so hard on yourself. And turn your personal experience and your personality into your very own secret weapon! Huh? It's a message from those other officers. Yes, this is Ollie. What's going on? Ma'am, your intuition and foresight are truly remarkable. Huh? Ma'am, not long after we split up, we spotted this sneaky figure around the setup point, so we apprehended him immediately. This kid was dressed up like a gangster. He might have something to do with the gang we're looking for. Where are you right now? We'll head to you immediately, and we can go to the 12th precinct together. What? Go into the precinct together? Delini, Huggins, wait a sec. I'm really far away from you right now. Why don't you take him back to the 11th precinct? That, uh, it wouldn't be proper. It's totally fine. You two apprehended the suspect, so the credit's all yours. 
You should take him back to the 11th precinct for interrogation. Go on now, quickly! I've just taken on another assignment. I'll be watching closely as to how your interrogation goes. Good luck! All right. Thank you, ma'am. Great work. That's weird. I only mentioned it offhand. I never thought they'd actually catch a criminal. If you go back with them to their precinct, Dolly, it'll blow our cover. So we have to give them the credit for this arrest. But I'm a little anxious about the outcome of the interrogation. So dust yourself off and hurry back to your precinct. Contact me the moment you hear anything. Okay, you got it. Yeah, that was going to drag down a little bit too long, uh, but it's fine. Proxy, Ollie's already headed off. Let's call it a day as well. <sighs> I'm so tired. Forgive me for not taking Eos back. I never expected you to be such a good teacher, Nekomada. Hey, come on! W what are you saying? Oh, even my ears are blushing. I mean, we put in a lot of work today. If we leave them now, we'd be throwing away our investment. How can I put this? Whenever I used to see a public security officer, I would just avoid them. But after working with these two, I realized they're just a bunch of average Joes. You've also been running around all day, Proxy. Thanks. I bet we'll be getting a message from Ollie sometime soon. Let's get some rest for now. I'll contact you if I hear anything. It's about the twist and turn. Yep, Bruvenger went smoothly. Yeah. What a fun, simple operation for trying to be so dangerous. I knew Mech. Nekomana was quick witted, but I guess I underestimated her. We should have relieved Nekomana as our friend and not our foe. Oh, right. What do you think about the guy who got oh, caught by the security officer in the 11th person? He's missing, though. Yeah, I also find the timing of that guy showing up a bit too convenient. Maybe we could trace that guy back to the game of the security. Yeah. Anyway, but what do we have up there? No, I'll mean, yeah, interrogation. Level 31. There you go. Let's go to that. Okay, so. We made a lot more pro a bit of progress. It was a little long than I think I need to be, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to be ending the stream here. It's getting late. I'm not planning to stream this tomorrow. Tomorrow, I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll jump on here, but just to do some side, just do my daily, daily stuff as us usual. But yeah, I'm not gonna be streaming this for, for a while. Oh, this streaming this came three days in a row. Was was something I was not expecting. Something I was not expecting to do. But um, yeah, so yeah. I want to thank you all for watching, and um, also I guess um, I guess you ever ever missed my previous streams. Um, I am I've been uploading on my uh, YouTube channel. So it's still called Sacrolution, still working on um, rebranding the the you know, channel. I just been like doing a lot of other things, but yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, it, yeah um. 
all my streams in this game will be also be going, going on to uh, my YouTube channel right now. Now well, it's known as Psych Illusion. Okay, so uh, yeah, this stream will also be on the channel as well. But, uh, yeah. Also, be sure to follow me on Twi on Twitter. Psych Illusion. Yeah, that's just about it. So, one thing you all for watching. Hopefully, you enjoy the stream. And I shall see you all next time. Catch you later.